fifth anniversary of Osama bin Laden's death passed quietly Monday in the United States. President Barack Obama says the decision to hunt down and kill the al-Qaeda leader was a priority from the moment he took office. But the decision to actually undertake the mission was heavily debated. Obama spoke to CNN television Monday on the fifth anniversary of the special forces operation that killed the man responsible for the September 11, 2001 terrorist attack on New York and Washington that killed 3,000 people. After months of intelligence, the president's national security team concluded that bin Laden was hiding on the third floor of a heavily guarded compound near the Pakistani city of Abbottabad. But Obama said when it came time to decide whether to go forth with the mission, some members of his national security team said more intelligence was needed. The odds that it was bin Laden were probably 50-50. There was some uh, dispute even within the intelligence agency, uh, but there was good reason to think it might be him. Uh, and after uh, the discussions with the principals, it was clear to me that um, this was going to be our best chance to get bin Laden, that if, in fact, we did not take uh, the action, that he might slip away and, and might be years before he resurfaced. As the president and his security team watched a live video feed, four U.S. helicopters landed on the compound and discharged members of a highly trained Navy SEAL team. The SEAL team killed a guard on the first floor, shot dead one of bin Laden's sons on the second floor when it appeared he was about to open fire, then bust into a third floor room. One team member shot the world's top criminal twice in the head. The SEAL team captured boxes of computer drives and DVDs from bin Laden's house along with his body, which was later deposited into the sea after a Muslim burial ceremony. Monday's interview was the first time Obama spoke about details of the mission.